going to say it's an absolute pleasure to welcome Pauline Black, perhaps heading some of today's sessions. Uh, thanks for taking the time to meet us here at the Two Tone Central this evening. And, uh, you know, I mean, you've been back together now. You came back together for the 30th anniversary of the first album, didn't you? Too Much yeah. Pressure. And you've done a few fairly high profile gigs uh, with that album. Uh, and how does the band feel now? Does it feel, because it, it feels kind of refreshed and revitalised. Is it the same for you guys? Oh, absolutely. I think, yeah. I mean, as soon as we got sort of, you know, like singing together again and, and, and being on stage and, and, and stuff. We did two gigs. We did one in Belgium mm -hmm. at the Sinners Day Festival and then we did... I've um, seen some footage from that. It was a yeah, wild yeah, show. Yeah, it was actually an excellent yeah. show. And we did another one at Bloomsbury Ballroom in, in right. London. And it was, yeah, it was just like slipping back into an old nice country slipper, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> And then, of course, we, we were on to the album, which came out uh, September last year, Made mm -hmm. in Britain, which is the beautiful vinyl copy here. Um, I mean, it's a great album. It's, it's, it's got social and political commentary on it. It's got a great scar feel to it. It's, it's a dance album. I mean, it must feel great for you guys, you know. Uh, you know was it a great process well, doing it, it? Are you happy with it? It was a leap of faith, really, because... Um, it's quite difficult. It's not like we haven't put out albums. We put out albums during the 90s, didn't That's we? Right, yeah. You know, when we were, we yeah, were together yeah. and with a version of the selector then. But it was a bit of a leap of faith this time because very much I feel that sort of, you know, the two term bands that were around are now kind of classified as heritage bands. Yeah. And you're only supposed to play kind of, you know, your first two albums or something like that. So to actually want to do something new for us was, um, it was quite scary in a way because you don't know how it's going to be received. No. You don't know whether an audience is going to stand there and kind of think, yeah, well, I'll get through three songs of this and then I'll get on my radio and too much pressure and I'll feel that much better about, you know, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Um, so we thought, yeah, we'll go ahead, we'll do it. And I mean, it was really good, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. The whole yeah. writing yeah. process, yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was done yeah. in the studio. Yeah. 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 I think, I think Mojo actually said that it could it, it sits alongside too much pressure. It could be the next album. That was the icing on the cake yeah, when they said yeah, that because yeah. it's you know you, if you it's very difficult for any band I think that has had the longevity that we've had mm -hmm. to get reviewed by any of the music papers yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, for them to have come out and sort of said that without being pecked <laughs> <laughs> was, was, was really really excellent. And uh, and it, it's amazing how kind of prescient in some ways the album is without us even thinking about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, back to black, poor Amy Winehouse, you yeah, know, yeah. shoveled off this mortal coil on the same day as we took delivery of the vinyl single for that, which was a real. And then we had the big in the body, small yeah, in the mind. Yeah, yeah. Like the day before that, you know, that guy whacked all those people yeah, in, yeah, in Norway. In, in Norway. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then <laughs> we're talking about multiculturalism and all these things, and by September rolls around it's and then there's off. riots, yeah, you know? yeah. So I mean, it was, uh, we felt as though we were on the right track, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, another thing I really like about it, but from a personal point of view, is the fact that you've used John Teflon Sims on it as well, who I know worked with you guys back, at, back in the day with Chris Liss, and did a lot of bands over in uh, Christmas. And I mean, it, it's got that kind of feel to it, hasn't it? As you said, you've got the handwritten lyrics. I mean, it's it's beautiful. And I'm stealing this copy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After it's been signed. But yeah. you know, I mean, w was it great to work with him? Because you said he's, he's done a lot of your merchandise as well. So uh, yeah, that's a nice yeah, kind of John's always there. been good to work with, hasn't he? Yeah, I find uh, that he comes up with um, probably original life. Because he's been there, as I say, he's been there from the, from the start. Yeah. yeah. You know. It's a nice kind of continuity. Really. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, he introduced us to the artwork. If you look at this kind of artwork, because we put it out to him. I mean, this was uh, the original um, idea for this, was for Big in the Body, Small in the Mind, right. and, and, and what racism means today, or, 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 or any of those things. And we wanted an abstract design for it. And there's a guy called, I think it, Ida Einar Einarsson. <laughs> I know. I see where Gap let you say that. I think, I think he's Norwegian. I think he's Norwegian. But anyway, he's from one of the Scandinavian countries. And he's quite a young artist. Um, but he does um, stuff with, like, sort of um, drips mm -hmm. on it. And yeah. it's always in black and white. And put that up like that. And, um, and he took that idea and ran with the whole thing and, and came up with what I think is a really original, really yeah, distinctive yeah, design because it really kind of hits you. Yeah. And it says everything that it should be saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, for, for my money, we wanted to put out a whole package. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and that's what we think now here in you know, 2011, 2011. Yeah. 
fantastic. And to bring it right up to that, I mean, Made in Britain, uh, album and Made in Britain tour starting um, the Reading Sub 89 Club on the 1st of March. That's right, yeah. Uh, going right the way through to Cambridge, uh, 6th of April. And um, you're going to be in the Midlands, because we are Midland based, obviously. Um, Leamington Spa on the 8th at uh, the Assembly, mm -hmm. which is a great venue, isn't it? Uh, 15th at the Guild Hall in Gloucester. And of course, then we've got the Bilston Robin on the 30th. I like the way that you've actually. You've obviously planned it for us Midlanders, so we can go to a gig a week if we feel like, and we don't have to tire ourselves out uh, too much. So <laughs> we do appreciate that. It would be rude if people didn't kind of come to everyone, I think. But well, uh, well, that, <laughs> indeed, yeah. We have to pop up to Scotland in the middle of all that while you're all having a kit. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the Bilston Robin. I mean, that's that's. Uh, have you been there before? It's almost a hometown gig. But, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We played that with Three Men in Black. Oh, I've been to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 With, with, with Jake, Jake and JJ, JJ, I think, was yeah, there JJ at that was, particular yes, one. Was. Yeah. I think Steve G Diggle was meant to be falling off a motorbike or something. Steve Diggle, yeah, he'd broken yeah. his wrist. So he wasn't Did well, you? Why am I asking you if you went there? I was up again. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, of course, you're off to Europe uh, in the summer. Yes, we've got a lot of festivals lined up. And um, we're in Spain, um, in uh, five shows in Spain in May. And uh, yeah, it's. And yeah. then back to Britain again. In and then back to, yeah, yeah, and Holland at the beginning of May. So May is pretty much taken up with Europe. And um, and then there's summer festivals coming in now as well, both here in New York. I think we're even going to Poland. Oh, you really? Yes. Oh, I was Poland. You really? Yeah, it's all really? Off, yeah. yeah, we're going to get paid in sweaties. <laughs> <laughs> if it's crack off and I'm there, I'll show you some good places to spend it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and um, I mean, obviously, we're here primarily to talk about Selector, but I can't, I can't, we can't finish without talking about Black by Design because honestly, I mean, you just asked me if I read this. It was an inspirational read, and I'm not saying that because you're sat there. It's a fantastic book. Um, it's my friend's book, and there you go, signed to me. Uh, kisses are there, Dennis. Don't worry. Um, from Pauline. <laughs> but you know, fantastic, fantastic. I mean, say that uh, it's coming out in America in in, a in uh, July, and um, and I'm writing another chapter to, to round the whole thing yeah, off sort yeah. of, you know talking about the experience that we've had over the past year and how the album got written because there's a whole story all behind this as well mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. and um, you know and about how we've put the band back together and yeah. what the selector means in, in 2012 I think, I think it's, it, honestly it's really it seems to be a great time for you you you, you, you guys fronting it you've got a great album out you've got a book out you know just it, it feels good doesn't it yeah, it, it feels very relaxed and yeah. it doesn't, we don't feel under any pressure, you know, we don't have the kind of pressure that the, the specials have or, yeah, or, or yeah. anything like that, you know, we can kind of yeah, muddle along as yeah. and we're enjoying yeah. it, you know, yeah. we needed right. to enjoy it well, because yeah. I think you get to a certain age and if you're not enjoying it, there's no real point yeah. doing yeah. it, is there? So it's nice to be back. Yeah. Great to be back. Excellent. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us on the day sessions. I mean, I'm going to catch up with you on this tour and uh, I suggest everybody else do the same. Thank you.